sorry about that. Alright, well, I gotta be ranking on that one, so it's not too bad. <clears throat> That's the beginner one. Let's see here. Another beginner. We're ready to advance. Let's do this one. Let's go. All right. So I'll switch it up for some of them. <clears throat> you know, viewers, just to see what some of the. Uh, different choices are here. Um, I'm just gonna keep it on auto for the time being, just for this run. Then. So this is what it's gonna normally just look like usually on this. So it's it's pretty cool. It's kind of a different choice to this than like the original arcade version. So you like you don't have to actually collect all the dots to move on. You just need to collect the fruit, and you just need to fill the meter up at the bottom. There. It's definitely a different twist, but in some situations you do want to actually eat all the dots because you need some of the bombs that will help you. And bombs will actually get you out of tight situations. So it will just bring you right back to the middle like that. What I'm doing right here is the ghost trains. I'll show you this for the broadcast. So right there in the timer in the middle is the first run. You actually eat little water that I see. You connect them before you get the power pellet. You just want to eat them. They give you a lot of points. It'll help you for your rankings. And another thing that's different too is when you bump the ghost in this one, depending on the mode and what you pick here in score attack, they don't kill you right away. What you do is they get angry. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. See like that right there? When they're angry, then that's when they can kill you. So like in some modes, like in advanced, like the fruit and the key and the power pellet move. If you touch the ghost once, it gets angry. And it can kill you right away. So like I said, it's, it just depends. You have to read on the score attack. I'll, I'll actually show you. Uh, so. I'm sorry. So, but in this mode, I just bump them like once or twice. Too quick. Then. Then I get angry. It's not one automatically. But. Kind of cool about these two when they're on these trains is you actually look at the gray lines that'll show you. They'll actually show you where they're gonna be going. Or where they could possibly switch or just make an instant turn or whatever the case may be. Either way, they can be tricky, but those gray lines help a lot. And just be wary of the timer in the middle. Nothing bad happens, you just don't get those extra points. See so like there's two bumps there. Too quick, but if you bump them and lay off them for like a few seconds and bump them again, they don't turn they won't get angry. The two ways to trigger those green ghosts there is either pass them up or but you actually put you in some really bad situations it's happened to me the way quite a bit but oh dang that was my 500 per dot um that's that's another thing too um if you keep your streak going without dying on the dots you get 500 which is the cap level per dot until you die again, and then, etc, etc, just, just few sets, but 500 is the cap, max for, like the maximum possible points you'll get, three dots, so, 
so those green ghosts attach to any of the ghosts. They just need a leader, pretty much. Like this. So like that, this is, this is where the advanced part comes in. So, that's what it does in advance. Difficulty. It won't do that on beginner. Or I believe it immediately. Like, it's just tricky though. It's definitely messed me up a few times, honestly. There we go, another B ranking. It's been really close to some on. Really close to A on some of them. So I like the little scoreboard here. It reminds me of some video games. The one that usually pops into my mind first is like Defense Grid, Tower Based, how it showed which colored metal you got and where exactly point wise you needed to be or more in order to achieve that. So that's pretty cool. A little basic, but I like I like how the ghosts and Pac-Man go up the meter for you. And then the next one actually shows you here is your results, obviously. Your total score is the top right, but it actually shows you what you did prior to eating the fruit or keys, the bell, whichever the case is. Then... I believe when you do like the 10 minute practice it goes up to a certain amount and then like within like the last minute and a half or something it pops back to the beginning and then it actually will show you stats on that. So it's a good little way to see how you actually stacked up pretty much per phase I would like to call it. Yeah, I want to do that. Those two, all those four C's at the bottom left there. It's actually a really cool one I want to actually kind of want to show you. I believe it's called jumping or something. Yeah, this is it. Actually, I want to, I want to show you viewers this. This is actually really interesting. Alright, so, you know, I'm going to switch it up for you this time. So for the maze, you can actually unlock 24 different mazes. I believe, yeah, it tells you what you have to do. So to change your color, you can actually check it out in the background just to see what it is before you select it. My favorite color is blue. So you know what, I'm going to go with blue on this one. Then you can actually change the background, so you know what, let's just go with blue, yeah, we'll do that. That's actually my favorite, I like type A, they're kind of a little bit different, hard to tell, actually, if you look a bit, a little bit different, they kind of look the same, but actually, I actually like those, this kind of just reminds me of the arcade. I'll actually show you like a 3D view. There's two 3D views, but they're they're just it's just like a mirage of one another. So I'll show you this one. It's gonna look kind of weird, but I used to play this on. The, I remember there was a Pac-Man I used to play on the GameCube. Um, so I'll actually show you this 3D view. And those blue dots there, those are the actual jumping pads. So it's really fun, actually. You can. You can go back and forth if get you out of some jams. And this game was actually on sale, I believe. Uh, I believe it was for Black Friday. Black Friday has some good digital deals on the digital copies. The only thing is, you know, 
go to like GameStop or somewhere, you know, we might find it a little bit cheaper. Not necessarily. But I went to Best Buy the other day, I was picking up a tablet and saving up for it. And I saw some of the games were the same price soon. But this was 650, so plus tax. I'm sure it's. I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure it's like probably s seven, seven bucks, maybe a little bit more, depending on how much they actually charge. I don't know. I don't. Oh, that was a good one by Red. Let's get the power. Pack. So yeah, this is the jump for the one though. This is a really, this is actually a fun one. So yeah, keep the showing those guys, get my, get those points. Actually we'll connect them right now. Get a bomb, use it instantly, get back. Yeah, this is that 3D one. There used to be a game on GameCube that I used to play when I was back. Oh my gosh. It's probably middle school, so probably when I was like really young teenager. Uh, I believe it was a champion Pac-Man championship series, but there was like six different types of Pac-Man. I played it on the GameCube, and I just, it's been so long, I just can't remember it. This is where it would be. They actually, and Pac-Man actually had eyes. And when he, when he would eat, it was 3D, and then you could actually jump over your opponents. Wow, well, actually, that was in this one. Achievements aren't bad in this game, they're just like, you know, achieve like a C rank or a B rank, whichever. And even if you don't actually complete the run that you attempt, you still actually get your scores recorded. So that's a, that's a good thing. For some people, if you had a really good run, that way you don't just, like, lose your proof, per se. So, that was that one. But yeah, you definitely need to get at least B rankings on that in order to get so I get a regular B. Ah, right here. Let me show you extreme. <clears throat> Believe it or not, this mode can actually be a little frustrating, but it's actually my favorite one. It's just I like the challenge that it brings. I mean that's just me, but 